Okay. Um, so last one, what I have here is tangent of u divided by 2 equals sine of u divided by 1 plus cosine of u. And what I'd like to evaluate for you is the tangent of 3 pi divided by 8. So going back again, what we want to evaluate for the tangent of the half angle. So saying if tangent of the half angle, if u divided by 2 is equal to 3 pi over 8, then what is u going to be? So again, we go back to our rule and we say, don't tangle yourself. We'll say u divided by 2 equals 3 pi over 8. Right? We're saying u divided by 2 is equivalent to 3 pi over 8. So we multiply by 2 on both sides. u equals 6 pi over 8, with therefore u equals 3 pi over 4 by simplifying, our, by simplifying reducing our fraction. All right, so now we know u is equal to 3 pi over 8. And we need to figure out, so we can say that the tangent of 3 pi over 8 is equal to the sine of 3 pi over 4 divided by 1 plus the cosine of 3 pi over 4. Does that kind of make sense, what I did? The big mistake a lot of students make is they plug in 3 pi over 4 in for u. No, u divided by 2 is 3 pi over 8. You need to find what u is to plug that in. Okay. So now we need to figure out, well, what's the sine of 3 pi over 4 and um, 3 pi over 8? So we go back to our unit circle. We say 3 pi over 4, whoosh, right there. That's negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Right? Yes, hopefully. Okay. So therefore, the sine is square root of 2 over 2 divided by 1 plus negative square root of 2 over 2. All right? Then we hate having fractions on top and bottom, right? So we can get rid of the fractions as long as we multiply the top and denominator by 2 over 2. I like using my little orange. Where's my orange accent? There it is. You just threw it away. Wouldn't be able to hear you in this video. So what we're simply going to do you got to make sure you distribute property, right? So therefore, that's going to be, those will divide out to 1, those divide out to 1. Um, that distributes to 2, so therefore you're left with the square root of 2 divided by um, 2 minus the square root of 2. And I don't think I had, all right, now we don't want to have this like this answer, right? We always got to multiply. We got to get there um, off the bottom. So we're now what we're going to have to do is multiply by the conjugate. Isn't tangent always so much more fun than the other two? So we know what we're going to have down here. By multiplying by the conjugate, we're going to have a difference of two squares. So we're going to eliminate our term. So what we'll have is 4 uh, minus, oh, I'm sorry. We'll have 4 minus 2. And over here, we um, apply, on top, we apply distributive property. So we'll have 2 square root of 2 over plus 2. Let's go back up to here to simplify this. So we'll have 2 plus 2 square root of 2 divided by 2. Right? 4 minus 2 is 2. There you go. Okay? So it's just a kind of a step by step process.